This is the SCAC Women's Basketball Championships. Trinity University just defeated the University of Dallas 60-54. to We're here with head coach Cameron Hill. And Coach Hill, first of all, congratulations on another win. Uh, this was a tough game. Just give, give me your initial thoughts on this game and what your team was able to do. Um, you know, I've got a lot of respect for Gina, first of all. I think she does a great job. I think her players always come prepared. And every game we play them, they've made subtle adjustments to take care of the things that we do well. So a lot of credit has to go to Dallas in their roster and, you know, the way that those kids compete. You know, for us, we just kind of, and I'm going to say it again like I did yesterday, we kind of just focus on one play at a time. We don't let their runs affect us as much. We kind of know that we're capable of putting runs together ourselves. And as long as we continue to work as a unit on the floor, good things will happen. Tell me about Libby Cruz in the post. Uh, had uh, almost 20 rebounds tonight, was pulling down board after board, had a couple huge block shots. Tell me about her performance. I mean, she, she's the heart of our team, you know, and, and her energy and enthusiasm is you know, it's, it's what makes us go. Um, she can't jump over a phone book. And, and so it, all those rebounds are 100% heart and effort. I want that to be known to everyone. Um, and and that, that, that permeates through our team. Um, so, I, I mean, I couldn't be prouder of her. But, you know, we had a lot of girls step up tonight. Bryony Harris had huge minutes for us. Lauren Splon might have had her finest game for us with her activity defensively, finishing, making free throws. Um, you know, but, but I'm going to say this too, a lot of credit has to go to the whole team because our practices are what prepare those players to make those plays. And everybody on the Trinity University team has had an impact on our success this year. You talk about one play at a time. Just tell me how your team continued to respond throughout the game. Uh, we mentioned with Hannah that Dallas seemed to get close, close, but never quite could come through because your team would come up with a big play, a big shot, a big steal. Just touch on just how tough this team was to come through with some of those big plays. You know, I, I just feel like we have, We've gone through a lot this season, and the end result of that is that we're very poised. Um, even when things feel a little chaotic or don't feel like we have complete control, our players understand that this isn't anything that we haven't seen before, and if we just keep our heads down and concentrate, we're going to make a play to get the kind of separation that we need to, to feel comfortable down the stretch. And we did that. We made it a two-possession game, and because we made our free throws down, down the stretch, we were able to keep it a two-possession game. And every possession Dallas had was to get it to one as opposed to cut it to, you know, tie game or take the lead. And that, that's what it takes to beat them. I mean, every game we've played them has been that way. And, and I anticipated being that way in the future too. So very, very pleased with our effort and very happy to have the win and the opportunity to play for a championship. Well, before we talk about the game tomorrow, you, you did have a, uh, a couple girls land on the All-SCAG team. You also had Anicia Richardson earn uh, Player of the Year, as well as Libby Cruz uh, earn Defensive Player of the Year. Four girls also on All-SCAG. J just touch on that, what that means to them, and how happy you are for those girls to earn those types of awards. You know, we talked about it right after the game. Those types of awards speak well about our program here at Trinity. Um, you know, these players are put in a situation daily where they have the opportunity to develop and practice and improve. And that's a result of the team and the attitude we take to the practice court and the way we push each other. You know, and we talked about the responsibility that the, 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 the talented players have to take those experiences and apply them to the games. And when, when you do that and you use everybody in your, in your program, you know, these types of things can happen for your players. And, and I couldn't be prouder. I think every single one of them that was mentioned in the SCAC, you know, all-conference or player of the year defense, I think they earned it. Um, and I'm very, very proud to be their coach. You move on to tomorrow. Texas Lutheran University, the number one seed. They've had an excellent season. They're on quite a run so far. But you get them on your home floor. Tell me about the excitement to be able to play for your second straight SCAC title. And, and just uh, tell me what it's going to take to come away with a victory. I mean, it's going to be a lot of the same. You know, we need to continue to do what we've been doing, use everybody on the floor at the same time, get a, get a five-player effort as hard as they can go as long as they're on the floor together. I mean, I, I feel like we play TLU really well, and I'm very comfortable with our game plan, and I think our players' attitude about this is that we anticipated taking this road one game at a time, and here we are. So that's going to be our attitude going into tomorrow's game, and I think our poise and our maturity is going to do a lot to help us win it. Coach Hill, congratulations on a great win. The Trinity University Tigers will take on Texas Lutheran tomorrow at 2 p.m. in Sam's Gym for the SCAC Championship. The Southern Collegiate Athletic Conference, a conference of good sports.